Hi guys, I'm Yolandina. Welcome back to my channel and I hope you guys are doing really, really, really well. Now when I say that I hope you guys are doing really well, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And uh, knowing the situation of, um, you know, of the world, of our country especially, uh, things are going like practically, I mean, I have no words to say. Every one of us, we are aware of what things are actually happening. Now, the last video which I had posted, many of you all actually had asked me that, you know, where did I actually disappear? Was everything okay with me? You know, uh, did I quit YouTube and so on and so forth? First of all, thank you so much for being, you know, so concerned about me and asking about my whereabouts. So, yes, here I am to answer all your queries, you know, what exactly happened to me. But before that, my regular drill, which I usually do, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. I am already panting. Hit the notification bell and uh, so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. So let's get started. So where exactly was I? Um, from the title of the video, I think you guys have already... You guys already know that I was tested COVID positive and uh, it all began actually on 23rd of March when Amar, my husband, he got back from work and uh, you know, he was, um, he complained of little bit of body ache and uh, uh, fever. So initially, to be honest, you know, that since we... You know, since it was the month of April, we thought that maybe because of season change and stuff, thoda sardi khasi ho gaya hoga and he's got fever. So he immediately checked. It was like around 99 point something, which I really don't remember right now, but something around 99. So he had a paracetamol and the fever went down. Again, after three hours, he checked and the fever again went around 9900. उस टाइम भी यू नो हम लोगों को कुछ ऐसा लगा ही नहीं कि शायद कोविड हो सकता है और ऐसा ऐसा कुछ भी भनक नहीं लगा द नेक्स्ट डे ही स्टार्टेड फीलिंग वेरी वीक एंड हिज फीवर वॉज अराउंड हंड्रेड हंड्रेड एंड वन सो वी कॉल्ड आर डॉक्टर इमीडिएटली एंड द डॉक्टर से दैट यू नो स्टार्ट अप विथ द एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड हैव विटामिन सी सो वी वर टेकिंग ऑल दोज प्रिकॉशंस लाइक विटामिन सी एंड Uh, he started off with the antibiotics and garam pani, lukewarm water. Kara to hum log pehle pee rahe the, but uh, us time ke liye we had stopped kara. So uh, anyway, so uh, his fever actually was like you know hovering around 100, 101, aisa kuch tha. But he did not have any body aches or anything of that sort. Now when I saw that he had fever, immediately what I did, I told Anya to. Uh, stay away from us completely us because obviously you know I had to take care of Amar I had to give him medicines I could not be isolated I mean I could not just move her, uh, away from to a different room but I Anya ko alag kar diya tha. but thankfully after a day or two I think it was her session break so I had sent Anya to my mom's place my parents house so she was there so she moved there but I was in, obviously I was in close proximity to Amar. I was giving her the food, I was giving her the food, it was like a regular thing that we generally do at home. Uh, then my maids were also coming, but of course uh, he was staying in one particular room and he was not coming out with uh, Nazada. Now since his fever was not coming down, um, then he thought and even our doctor said, suggested that go for a test after his antibiotics got over. The course got over. So once he got the test done and the reports came, um, unfortunately it was, he tested positive. Now he told me, you know, it's better you also do a test, uh, you also do a test. But since I did not have any symptoms or anything of that sort, I was like perfectly fit and fine. So I was like, you know, I don't need to do a test because my exam is So I did not go for a test. So after a few days, like uh, around 27th or 30, 30th, I don't exactly remember the date, uh, he still insisted do a COVID test. So I went for a test and my reports came that day itself and I tested negative. So I was very happy. I immediately informed my family and I told them, you know, thankfully I am tested negative. 
so at least I can help him out for as far as the medicines and food was concerned I can help him out so in that way you know I thought you know at least one person in the family is fine I can help him now uh, our mode of communication between him and me obviously he isolated himself in a different room I was in a different room and uh, but before I you know uh, uh, actually start off with the video and I've already started. So, but before I actually start off telling you exactly what were the symptoms and how I felt during the COVID journey, um, I cannot say the word thank you, of course, to few people of my life, who uh, you know, were by my side, uh, by our side, I would say. Of course, I have to mention my parents who have been like my, the biggest pillar, I can say, they were the like rock pillar, you know, uh, be it medicine, the bottle, because I also, you know, I was unable to step out of the house. They were there by my side, as in they were sending food at times when it was required, medicines, panika bottle, everything, everything. The doctors, of course, and baad mein ja ke bhi main bolungi, that whom would I like to thank. Actually, the word thank you, you know, I do not want to say thank you. Thank you, say bhi upar agar kuch word ho, I would like to use for them. So, um, I tested negative, so I was very happy and all, all, all of that sort. So, our mode of communication was uh, through video calls and, of course, uh, through phone calls, but of course. Then, kya hua, um, in his room, uh, he had kept an oximeter, a vaporizer, steamer, and a uh, thermometer of course um, and uh, he used to check his oxygen level every now and then and I used to ask him you know in a day uh, at least five six times I used to give him a call I used to do a video call and I used to see the oximeter I used to talk you know his breathing thing and everything was like perfect going perfectly fine but yes dhire dhire you know it was like coming to around his oxygen level was like 90 495 it was like that but still I did not take it that seriously Mujhe utna nahi laga ki, you know things can go from bad to worse now everything started on 1st of April where it actually had taken a u-turn now 1st of April what exactly happened uh, I had a severe severe stomach pain you know it all now symptoms of covid it's different for every individual it's not key you know just aapko fever aa gaya and you have you are tested positive ya aapko uh, diarrhea ho gaya you are tested positive like every individual i think a b c d everyone has got different different symptoms so mere mein kya hua na every it started with a severe stomach infection kind of a thing and uh, it was bad pain the whole night i was unable to sleep because of severe pain then in the morning of course i had to give him breakfast i somehow i managed to give him breakfast and his lunch now when i gave him the breakfast and lunch i when i opened when i actually gave him the food i saw he was lying down you know because I thoda darwaza khol ke usko khana deti thi there was a stool uh, kept chair kind of a thing main wahan par khana rakh ke main aa jati thi so um I saw that you know he was sleeping. Now I was that day particularly I was not in a condition to talk to him. Usdin mein na video call kiya na mein usse phone mein baat kiya. You know that what's the oxygen level and how you're feeling today. Since morning I did not speak to him at all uh, because I was not in a condition even to stand and do even chai. You know, my chai bhi mein uske liye mein kaise banai. I only remember like itna ganda mera pain tha usdin. So every time I was just having a little bit of lukewarm water or ajwain or something or the other and you know so that the pain subsides for 5-10 minutes and I can just cook for him a little bit, give him the food and then take rest. Um, it went on like that till around say 11, 30, 12 or 1 and then um, my father called me up and he said you know the ambulance is coming and tell Amar to get ready. Then I was like in a state of shock, I'm like ambulance for what? Because uh, my dad used to call Amar every morning and morning evening you know, to just to keep a check on the oxygen level because accordingly even he used to talk to our doctor. Us time uska oxygen level was almost 91, 90. So I got really panicked. I got scared 
and uh, I was like, you know, nothing doing, even I need to go to the hospital. Now here I would also like to thank few of our office staff who were, you know, or who were of great help because COVID ke time, koi bhi patient agar uh, needs to be hospitalized, there are loads of formalities which needs to be done and um, I'm not going to name the hospital, of course, and uh, so we went to the hospital immediately, the ambulance came. Um, it was on the 1st of April, as I already said, and uh, so yeah, we went to the hospital, I accompanied my father, and uh, there were two office uh, staff along with us. So we were sitting there. Now when I went to the hospital, um, uh, we got to know that his oxygen was almost 88, 87. So he was given the oxygen immediately and rushed to the COVID, cent uh, COVID area because Wuwala hospital may the regular place where patients lagte hai and the COVID section was completely different. Like when we were in the waiting area, I was like, you know, I could feel something was not right with me. First of all, ek to stomach pain kafi tha. Then I could feel body ache. You know, body ache was not a regular body ache which was I, which I was feeling. It was some. It was it was a different kind. It was a severe kind of a pain. Okay, as if you know all the joints. Something was a breaking, you know, someone was hitting me with a hammer. All the joints started aching and I started feeling a little bit of chill. But I thought maybe because of the AC, you know, I was feel, feeling cold. I still, I was like, okay, maybe, you know, let's not think about that. I should only think about Amar and I hope everything goes up well. So the formality and everything took quite some time, kafi time laga. Then we got back home. Now in the meanwhile, my father said that, you know, since it's not possible for you to stay alone because even the house needs to be sanitized and everything, he took me to my parents. I mean, my, by my dad said, you come to our place. So I went to my parents' house. Now when I went to my mom, dad's place, I mean, immediately I took a shower and everything. Now when I actually, I was uh, in the bathroom or, you know, I was changing clothes, I could feel, you know, something, it was it, it was a different feeling. You know, tabhi se na mera thoda khasi, little bit of khasi uh, irritation yahan par. I started coughing. Uh, so I thought maybe kuch atak gaya hoga. So I started coughing. Now that cough from that particular night, you know, it became so, so, so bad. Guys, I am really not exaggerating. When I say that, you know, it became so bad, I mean it, you know. Every second of my cough was as if I, it's my last, it's, it's the last day of my life probably. It was severe, it was terrible. When even I used to breathe, I used to feel that I was gasping for breath, okay. Uh, of course, I isolated in the room, but I don't know, some, uh, I felt my father was like, you know, it's better you isolate yourself, thankfully. Because see, our parents at the end of the day, they are also aging. So we also need to as um, we, we need to be responsible, right? So I immediately isolated myself and uh, Anya, is also, Anya was also there. So I, I isolated myself immediately. And um, that night was terrible because my body ache started. I started getting fever. Even Jahapar Merko, you know, a first April ko uh, in its first it was first of April. It was first of April and um, generally um loco A C and Pankhasab Triota I was actually shivering. Um the next day of I, I had an oximeter. I had my father arranged for everything, you know, oximeter pani because he thought that it might be COVID. Um cut to on second or 3rd April. Again, I was getting fever on and off, but my fever did not go up to like 102, 3, like Amar, because his fever was like, I remember last seeing, uh, it was 103.4, uska ho gaya tha, which was like terri terrible. And he was, okay, by the way, let me tell you, he was in the hospital for 14 days. Uh, he was given like almost 40 to 50 to 60 liters of oxygen. His lungs were really affected, but by God's grace, now everything is fine he's under medication and yes so i i know you know this story is going haywire yeah so the thing was like on third or second of april my my health deteriorated so much that uh, uh, the doctor suggested you know do a COVID test for her 
So on 6th of April, I did a COVID test and it came positive. Now when it came positive, uh, you know, your mindset is also like that, now what next? So uh, in the meanwhile, I always used to check in the oximeter, see what's the level and stuff. And it was always like 96, 97. So I was pretty happy. I was like, you know, 97 is pretty good enough. Ek raat ko, I think it was on the 7th or 8th of April, I again got fever. And uh, in the night, my oxygen level came down drastically, okay. My hands, um, it was like chilled, bukhar a gaya tha. Um, I became unconscious, I fell in the bathroom. Now when I fell in the bathroom, I was unable to even get up. I was like, but at the end of the day, you don't have anyone to actually help you. You, you are like all by yourself. I just chanted Balaji. I'm a great devotee of my Balaji. So I just chanted his name and I was like, you know, just give me the strength. Just pull me out of it so that at least I can go to the bed. That's what I exactly did. I somehow managed to go to the bed and I collapsed. I passed out completely. Next morning, my mom again gave me the food uh, and a khana jab ko diya jata tha, of course, it's like generally for, you know, people who are, who are like COVID infected, uh, everyone, even the doctors suggest that uh, use all uh, disposable containers. So that's what exactly my parents used to do it. Now, khana, my smell and taste, yes, another thing, my smell and taste went completely, okay? Even for Amar also, same thing, his smell and taste went completely. So, uh, I couldn't even gulp water. My cough deteriorated like anything. It was like killing me, you know. I breathing, I was gasping for breath. It was like as if someone is choking me to death. It became so bad. Uh, then, uh, okay, now when I actually became unconscious and I fell in the bathroom, I actually did not tell my parents about it because, see, that time as it is, there was a dearth of beds, hospital beds. Now, in the meanwhile, I would also like to say my entire family, as in my in-laws, they were also hospitalized. So, itna sara kuch mera family mein ho tha, we could not afford to go to the hospital again afford as in you know at the end of the day my father only has to take me to the hospital and he is also aging i could not tell him that you know take me to the hospital because covid matlab danger zone who is going to do all the formalities so in no way i was like i cannot take him there you know i cannot take him to the danger zone um, now my oxygen level was actually coming down. It came down to almost at times 86, 87, but I never used to tell my father. Now if at all my father is seeing this video, I'm really sorry. Um, yes, I did not. There has been days when I haven't told you about my correct oxygen level, but it actually came down quite a bit. Uh, but at the end of the day, by... Um, your and Ma's blessing, by Balaji's blessing, Guruji's blessing. I am perfectly fine today. I'm hail and hearty. So, yes. Um, so, finally, um, okay, you know, while saying this, I am getting emotional. Now, uh, people, I am here not to make you all, you know, I am not to make you all, you know, I am not to make you all, I just want to warn you all that COVID, many of us, we take things very lightly. You know, we think that COVID is just like any other flu. It's not, guys. It is, it, it's, it's a deadly kind of a thing. You know, jisko hota hai, that person only knows that what he or she goes through. So, um, uh, I, I, had a, I had a nurse, a personal nurse, who actually took care of me. I can't thank her, thank her enough. She actually was an angel in my life for those 10 days who took care of me during COVID. She was there with me 24-7. I was given nebulizer for uh, three times a day. Steam, she even used to feed me. I had, you know, I became so weak. I had lost so much of weight. But post-COVID, you know, I am absolutely fine. My hunger pangs have increased to next level. And if you see, I, I have a double chin. But then it's okay. Uh, I think I will get back uh, to um, my regular 
um, routine and uh, it's after days that I've done a little bit of makeup and I'm sitting in front of the camera. So please guys do not take things lightly, take it very seriously. We have our parents, we have our kids at home so do not put their do not put their life at stake at the end of the day we have to take care of them they have to take care of us we are we have to be there for each other so yes and uh, life hai, ek hi zindagi hai. Uh, we can definitely party and enjoy and go out and meet friends pura zindagi rahega baad mein. but agar abhi hum log ka tabiyat kharab ho jaye ya something god forbid happens to us then you know, um, this is not going to come back, you know, this, uh, I, I mean, this time will never get back and we, we are going to repent that why didn't we take precautions. So my entire day was like almost 23 days I was quarantined and Amar was in the hospital for 14 days. I, I did not actually see my daughter for like almost a month and a half. I saw Anya almost after almost after a month and a half and I got so emotional when I got out of the room. I literally wanted to hug her but still had taken all precautions. I mean, you know, I was wearing mask and everything and I was maintaining distance. Still, I did another test and my reports, both our reports, Amar and myself, we did another COVID test on, and our reports came as negative. Uh, so yes, so that was my COVID story, my COVID experience, which was like terrible. So that terrible phase has gone and I can't thank God. I can't thank everyone from my parents, from my entire family, from my friends, doctors, uh, nurses, attendants who have been like, you know, with for us, you know, and at the end of the day, we are fine we are hail and hearty we've got back and i couldn't be happier so yes yeah, guys please be safe please stay safe keep on wearing your mask do not step out of out of the house at all until and unless it's like very very uh, you know uh, it's it's an emergency situation up groceries ya kuch bhi ho aap mangwa sakte ho swiggy karo kuch bhi karo zomato kar lo zomato nahi i'm sorry swiggy kar lo ya big basket kar lo ya kuch bhi kar lo but don't until unless it's really required do not step out of the house situation is getting from bad to worse oxygen mil nahi rahe hai cylinders i mean you know so please uh, stay safe so thank you so much um and I, in, in today's video, of course, I am not going to say like, share, subscribe, because it is something which is, um, uh, I don't know, I mean, yeah, just, just stay safe, keep your loved ones safe, that's all I have to say for today's video, love you guys, bye-bye.